This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson, and you're listening to Something to Wrestle with Bruce Pritchard. Bruce, what's going on, man? How are you? Dude, I'm fucking great. I got a question for you. All right, I'm ready. All right. Do you like, like, scary classic TV shows? Sure. And I may have talked to you about this at one time, but the all-time greatest, in my opinion, like, television show I like Alfred Hitchcock, and I love the Alfred Hitchcock Hour. You ever watch that? Nope. Okay. Well, I know what it is, a though. Bit before your time. Yeah. Okay. Well, just by happenstance, I was looking at something else, and it took me just down a rabbit hole for a second. And I said to myself, as I saw this thing, because it was like the scariest, 20 scariest TV shows of all time. I said, you know what, man? I said self. Yeah, I, I did. I was like, fuck them, man. Because the best and the scariest was this one Alfred Hitchcock episode that I'd never been able to fucking find. And I remember what it was about. Everything about it. And I clicked on this fucking thing. And guess what the second scariest fucking TV show of all time was? The Raw where they blew up Vince McMahon. <laughs> That would be number four. This was number two, the Alfred Hitchcock hour entitled the jar. And it is about a, a, a country boy and he goes to the fair and he goes to the sideshow and in the sideshow is an attraction called the jar. And you have to look at it. And you have to try and guess what it is. What, what does this jar symbolize? What is the jar? What is inside the jar? And this guy stands there for three hours. He looks at it, looks at it, can't figure it out because it's just so mesmerizing. And then the little fella is a little person, older guy, looks a little like Sky Low Low. Actually, fuck, it may have been Sky Low Low for all I know. Uh, see how I made that rhyme? Yep. Okay, well, now it's time oh. to tell you about the jar. And then he sells this jar to the country guy for $12.25. And the way that he does it, there are so many things in this, in this episode that are the business related. Because it's an old carnival, uh -huh. an old carny guy, and he asks the guy. He says, "Boy, he goes, you know, he goes, I don't know how much people would would pay for something like this." And as the carny goes on, he goes, "I don't know, two dollars." And the country boy smiles, big grin on his face. I don't know, but then again, it might be four dollars. The country boy still grinning ear to ear. And he says, "I hey, it could get to six. I don't know, but something like this. Probably talking about ten. And the country boy's still smiling, big grin on his face, and then he gets to 14. And the country boy gets a real sad look on his face because he realized that's when the carny knew. He goes, okay, somewhere between 10 and 14 is my sweet spot as to how much money this boy's got in his pocket. He hit $12, that country boy got a big smile on his face, says, well, that's all the money I got in my pocket. So the carny says, well, I might be able to part with this jar. And then I'm not going to give the rest of it to you because it, it, it is without a doubt. You, you watch it. The psychology is sound. It is fuck. It holds up. It was shot in the fifties, man, or sixties, early sixties. I don't know when, but Alfred Hitchcock hour, the jar, it is a lesson in life. And when you, you watch it today, you could redo this entire thing today and it would still be just as great. Sounds like a bunch of carny fucks. So it makes sense that you like it. Well, how about fuck you then? <laughs> All right, how about that? <laughs> how about two double fuck yous? I knew I, I knew I'd get you fired up on that one. I'm excited you're here. This is a record for us. I don't think since you've been back, we've recorded this early. I'm so proud. Well, you know, <laughs> there, there's, there's first and only time for everything. Well, let's not, let's not ruin our and offer. You got a lesson in the jar. Dude, mm -hmm. I cannot believe as long as we've known each other that I have not told you the story about the jar. No, now you've told me a story. Remind everybody again, the story that your brother wanted you to watch a movie and you were like, I don't get it. And he said, go watch it again. Well, that was called Carney. 
Gary Busey and Jody Foster. It's a great story about life. I may have to, uh, you know, during our little, uh, quarantine Jones here, I may have to go check out both of those and give you a book report. You haven't watched Carney yet. No. You ignorant hillbilly bastard. You that's hurtful. Well, you know, goddamn, I am imparting bits of wisdom upon your head. It's like right now, it's like Bruce wisdom and shit. Just sprinkling a fucking all shit all upon your motherfucking head. And what do you do? <laughs> you take the goddamn little comb out and you go, oh shit, I got Bruce wisdom in here. I better get rid of that fucking shit. Don't want none of that in my beard or anything. Yeah, just like you're doing that, combing your fucking face. I got to tell you, I'm really excited that later this month, we're going to unleash the video for everybody. I've got a new camera and a light kit headed your way. Uh, by the end of the month, people will be able to see our shenanigans here. I just got your goddamn Christmas present too. So whoop de fucking do Christmas present. Yeah. You just got it today. I just fucking ordered it today. What do you mean? Ordered it. Don't worry about it. Oh, my present. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant what I sent you. And I'm like, buddy, that Did was a long time. Something? Yeah. Where is it? Probably the old house. Why the fuck's it at the old house? Why'd you send it to the old goddamn house? It might be in all of that fucking Bosch horse shit. You've never unopened. You've never opened. It's just, you're just piling treasures in the basement. I'm not saying that that couldn't happen. They were custom shoes. You don't remember them at all. I got those a long time ago. Well, that was that, believe it or not, that's our most recent Christmas. Okay. Well, yeah, that was last year. I'm talking about this year. Well, you said it like you just got my present. I know what you mean now, but I'm like, how did you just now get those that you should have had that a year ago? I'm with Dude, you I now. I took though. pictures of those. I called you the day I got them. Said, thank you. I was pissed off that uh, somebody else in your little click over there got them first. Yeah. Well, I, I shipped them at the same time, but you moved far, far away. I'm not that far away. Okay. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.